Here's Scott Barr with those gentlemen. Thanks, Gary. We are here to introduce the two coordinators to the Lafayette sports community. To my left, Luke Thompson. To my ri uh, right, Rich Bartell. Luke, we'll start with you as defensive coordinator. You're coming over from Georgetown. What kind of things should the Lafayette team be ready for when uh, Coach Thompson comes to town? Well, uh, defensively, you know, we're going to be uh, experts at the fundamentals. So we're going to be really good at getting off blocks, really good at tackling, really good at taking the ball away. We'll play really fast. We'll play really hard all the time, and we're going to be tough to beat. Now you have a history at places like Army and Harvard and Holy Cross, so you're very used to an environment where academics is a priority, as it is here at Lafayette. Is there going to be any difference for you as you move in? Um, no, I mean, I, you know, the great thing about working at these kind of institutions is that, you know, the players are all the same. They just have different names, you know, and uh, but uh, they're the kind of kids that are uh, self-motivated guys because they've gotten to this point where they can look at a place like a Lafayette and, uh, you know, the football's important to them and it's really just our job to kind of facilitate them and help them along in the process. So brand new, what's going to be your first priority as a coach after you get to know the players a little bit? Uh, what's the first thing we do? First thing we're going to do is uh, we got to finish up this recruiting class. You know, um, I'm getting used to. I've, I've, I've had the opportunity to meet some of the guys that are coming back and some of the incoming uh, recruits, and you know that's the number one thing. And then after that is going to be evaluating where we are. You know, from a scheme standpoint, I believe our co our job as coaches is to put our players in the best position to have success. So we'll evaluate the roster defensively and and try to make sure that we uh, institute a scheme that fits. The, the the talents of our players right now. And Georgetown, a team that was number one in the Patriot in scoring defense. We turn our attention to the offense. Coach Bartell, you had a history in the NFL uh, with a variety of different teams. You won't find many friends around here from your Dallas and Washington days, but I can tell you, John Leon, pretty excited about your Cleveland days. Uh, your first order of business has to be finding a quarterback. Lost two quarterbacks last year to graduation. Uh, is that the first battle you have to assess? Uh, I think so. I mean, really, in general, right, is, is the evaluation of all of the players coming back. You know, recruiting certainly going to be a priority here to finish up strong to the signing day. You know, but knowing what we have, you know, lucky for us, uh, you don't win in game or win and lose games with one guy. You know, but yeah, certainly that position's a, a key position. So uh, we'll get there. I'll ask you the same question. What kind of changes should the Lafayette team expect from the new coaching regime? Yeah. Um, you know, I think, uh, you know, the vision of, of John Garrett is is really going to set the precedent here, right? And so um, we fall in line to that, you know, and then rallying around one another to create a culture to get the behaviors that we need to get from this team. You know, winning is going to be a byproduct, it should be, of everything that we do on a day-to-day -day basis. And so the consistency and the excellence in which we pursue those things will really set the tone. You know, I, I don't think uh, X's and O's are a little overrated. Johnny's and Joe's are not. Recruiting's a big part of this game, but we'll put the people in the right position to have success, but we really got to flip the frame of mind uh, to let them know that success is, is tangible. Coach Garrett has made no secret that his offensive scheme will center around the quarterback. That has to be pretty exciting for you. Absolutely. You know, I just think, you know, every time that you can communicate a message to at least our unit that comes through the perspective of the quarterback, it benefits everybody because ultimately that position has ultimate accountability, right? Whether it be protection schemes, the way the ball is distributed, he's a delegator, you know? And so uh, that's a great perspective to teach through and I'm happy to have that kind of accountability at my position. I take a lot of pride in that. Opening day, September 2nd, 231 days from now, the home opener, September 9th, and the big Patriot League opener on September 30th. Exciting times on College Hill, Gary.